Hello dear traders, this is Catherine Main and Fresh Forex Company. Glad to see you right behind the monitor. So let's start. Let's start with the euro US dollar pair. On the bond market, trend of the euro is still negative. Spread of yield of the 10 years US and German bonds is expanded. It makes investment in the US assets more attractive. ADX indicator on the 4 hourly chart shows the uptrend, whereas on the hourly chart it shows flat. RSI indicator shows divergence in the overboughtness zone on the hourly chart. That means the downtrend. And my recommendation is to trade inside the flat 1.1030 1.1130 the next pair is the pound and the US dollar. The day before there is no strong report on the UKJP for the second quarter. It proves a large number of dollars in the market. Another negative factor for the pair is sales on the oil market. The day before the US Department of Energy reported an increase of crude oil reserves by 1.6 billion barrels and that was after nine weeks drop of reserves. Both indicators are assigned ADX showed the flat on the daily 4 hourly and daily charts. Today there is a flat train from 1360 at 1250, which corresponds to one general on hourly chart. And my recommendation is to open the trades from 1250 and take profit at level 1.3100. And the final pair is the US dollar and Japanese yen. Multi-directional vector of monetary policy of the US and Japanese central bank leaves investors no choice but to build bond positions on the climb of the price. Dynamics of the US stock market box indicates a continued uptrend. The day for the FN is the the day in the red zone, which is a positive factor of the stock market. A day on gear on the hourly chart shows the uptrend, whereas on the hourly chart it shows the downtrend. Our center shows divergence in the oversubmit zone on the hourly chart, which means the uptrend. The recommendation is to open by trade from the level 104.50 and take profit at level 105.50. Subscribe for my daily video analysis. I wish you good luck in trading.